Okay, so uh, trailing arms are done down here. Got our five lug hubs and our e-brake mounts from Ireland Engineering. We've got our redesigned bracket here. As you can see, we had to clearance it to uh, to clear the frame, so we made it out of thicker material just so that uh, basically it was strong enough uh, with that notch to support the bolt there. So. Those are good. What else we got going on around here? We have our quick change subframe jig that is getting ready to go here. Just need to finish the welding on that and then I can make quick change subframes without doing it right off my car. So if anybody needs one of those, give me a holler. My old trailing arms right there, and our new subframe. Just took the bushings out of this guy. Press in some uh, Turner Motorsport solid uh, subframe bushings, which are over here. Very nice pieces. So those will go in next, and then I will finish welding on this jig, throw the other subframe in the jig, with the solid mounts and we will weld up uh, the quick change mount which consists of basically cutting off the stock diff mount and then welding a couple of plates like this. I already bent those up and got my holes drilled so those will go right there and bolt up and I'll weld them up and see if it fits and hopefully it does because that means my jig is good and I can make more of these things. So the uh, quick change mount is done on the subframe here as you can see right there we've got our arms mounted up we got one side of the shock mount ready to go had a little issue on the lathe with uh, the other side I was turning all that shit down over here on my little mini piece of crap lathe but it does alright for turning down stuff like that hey buddy what you doing so I had that one on the lathe and uh, had a little incident there why doesn't this camera focus very well it pisses me off it's never in focus but as you can see that didn't turn out so well. The cutting tool that I was using wasn't exactly sharp enough and it caught and it sent that guy off the lathe and messed it all up. Oh, oh god! I almost died. That thing almost killed me. Um, I don't have any material left for that so I can't finish up the other side tonight. But uh, yeah, moving along. Got all this stuff mounted up. I'm going to test fit the diff and uh, make sure I did my diff mount right. And uh, hopefully testing next week sometime. What's up boys and girls? We're over here machining some uh, some spacers for the shocks on the lathe. So figured I'd let you guys check it out. See if I can get a good view of it. our finely machined spacer. Still got a little burr up here on the edge to knock off, but I think it's the right size. Let's take a look here. Slides into the shock all good. And that slides into position all good. Cool. The little things, people. 
Never overlook the little things. Alright, let's clean this guy up with some sandpaper and mount a shock. Cool. Shock bolted up. Plenty of clearance. Can't really see up there, but there's plenty of clearance on the body too. Whoa. It's not sitting. It's not sitting completely flat there, which is weird. Let's see if we can crank down on it and get it to sit flat. It's not quite sitting flat. I'm going to take that spacer out and give it a little remachine. Maybe it's just because the bracket's not sitting straight. Let's try and zap it with the impact. Let's see what that does. If I can find my dang impact, where the hell is the impact? It's not over here. Not over there. It's not over here. Huh. I don't know where my impact is. Where could you be, impact? Where are you? I know you're somewhere. Ah! Ah! Alright. Let's give it a zap. See if we can't get this thing to sit nice and flat. That looks much better. Okay. Cool. Shocks. Working. Both sides. All right. Step in the right direction. All right. All right. Next step. I'm putting these guys in. Five lug, E30, and three hubs. Got to pull out the old four lugs. Uh, got some new bearings to go in there. And uh, while the bearings are out, I'll be welding the dual caliper mount from Ireland Engineering on there. So that, if you can imagine, will fit along this flat surface there. Once I pull the hub off, I can slide that over and weld it in place. And then we got our dual caliper mount. And after that, I believe we are ready to go. Woo! Uh, yeah. I think that's it I'm, all I'm gonna do for tonight because uh, the US men's curling gold medal match is tonight and the US has never made it to the gold medal match and Canada, which we beat in the semifinals, has never not made it to the gold medal match. So pretty substantial so I'm gonna go home and watch that and come back tomorrow we'll knock out these hubs we'll knock out the e-brake mounts and hopefully get everything bolted back together and fully functioning do a quick alignment on it and go for a test Woo! hope you can hear me all right this is the first time I've kind of walked around with the GoPro so we'll see how that works out how you doing Gonzo what are you doing what are you doing? Huh? Huh? Give me a paw. Give me a paw. Good boy. I can't touch you. My hands are too dirty. Give you a quick pet. Here you go. Here you go. That's a good boy. Let's see a boop. No? No boop? Boop! That's all for tonight. I'll be back tomorrow. This is going to be one big vlog because I haven't done a whole lot of editing because I've been real busy. So uh, it's going to be a very technical, mechanical blog out of this one. Vlog, blog, 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 video, blog. Is that what vlog stands for or is it video log? It should be vblog. Makes more sense. Anyways, later boys and girls.
Okay, so we're pulling some hubs off right now. Got our hub grappler on here. Can't see very well because of the exposure. But as you can see on the back here, we have our nut. Our washer there. Press the hub out. This is the easy way of going about it. A lot of people just pound on the hub with a sledgehammer and aluminum thing and pound them out. But uh, this is the right way to do it. You need uh, this thing called a hub grappler kit, which is very worth your time if, uh, if you're doing a lot of wheel bearings or if you just hate doing it the hard way. It comes with all these assorted size cups for the bearings to slide into, all these assorted size uh, washers to pull the bearings out, you know, depending on what size bearings you have. And then it comes with uh, this big clamp guy. Uh, that's what we're doing. So let's get down with it. came off with that so uh, if you're trying to get that off and keep your hubs this comes into a difficult situation um, sometimes you can get a flathead sort of in between the bearing and the hub and sort of pry it out sometimes you can take a cut off wheel and just cut into the bearing uh, race and then chisel it to get it off um, but yeah, we're doing new hubs, so I'm not too concerned about that. Flawlessly. Okay, so GoPro battery died, but we got our bearings out. And uh, next step, kind of ran into a little problem here. Well, these are my e-brake plates, twin caliper mount, and they press up against this surface right here. The bolt comes through from the back into these, which are supposed to be threaded, but these ones aren't threaded. And where the rotor sits, the rotor sits right up against this plate, so I really can't put nuts on the back side of that because it'll be hitting the rotor. Um, I even had problems where if the uh, if the nut was even protruding through you know like that much it was actually scraping down and grinding down the back of my rotor so I can't have really have the nuts going back going out more than you know a few millimeters um, which is kind of an issue because the hole in the z-brake plates is too big for the bolts that I have to tap it and those bolts are the perfect size to fit in the calipers here so unless I drill out that hole tap those and use larger bolts um, I don't really see a way that I can use these I'll take these over to the old trailing arms and kind of show you how it should be so here's my old trailing arms so the calipers would bolt on like that and that should be your setup threaded ready to go but uh those aren't threaded and the holes are too large to hit with that uh that tap that i used to thread these so i don't know i gotta i guess wait till monday and call ireland engineering see if they can make me a set of plates with smaller holes or i'm gonna have to get real interesting tap those for a larger bolt size and possibly drill out the mounts on the calipers which sounds a lot more difficult so 
stalemate for right now. I can't put my new hubs and bushings in because I don't want to cook the bearings because I have to put weld line all along up here and down here and stuff like that. And if I put the bearings in, it's just going to cook the bearings. So got to do that before I put the hubs and bearings in. So unfortunately, I think I'm at a stalemate for tonight. Could go ahead and put the diff back in. <sighs> Bummer. Um, did not realize that was going to happen. So now my pretty hubs get to sit on the bench for another couple more days. Well, um, maybe I'll edit up a vlog and actually get all this stuff out to you. Maybe that's a good idea. Ah, trials and tribulations of owning a race car. Never expect anything to work right, because it never does. That's my two cents.